year, we when we went to Napa, we decided to only have three winery tastings a day. We were there for three full days and the ending of the first day. So I hope you enjoy this on our Napa trip 2023. Okay, we made it to Napa. This is 2023 at the Pijou Winery. <laughs> Get a picture of this bus we're uh, Yes. Oh, yeah. Here is the... Okay, do the lights go out? It's huge okay. and it can haul all of our wine for us. Okay. This is the Schaefer Winery Barrel Room. Working in this place at Schaefer. Yeah, we read the books. Yeah. So yeah. you're familiar. And now we're going into the cave at Schaefer. And we only do two day air because in the past we saw issues with ground shipping. Yeah. Um, and then we get a call of people cussing out FedEx. No, we're not FedEx. Um, okay, we are at Cliff Lady on our first full day at Napa Valley. We're on the inside of Cliff Lady. As much as I hate California regulation, that one makes sense. Cabernet. And here is the outside. Okay, we are now at Reverie oh, wait, Winery. And we're up above it at a fire pit. I'm more than happy to help out. Yeah, that's probably going to be good. Here we are at Reverie <laughs> up at the I'm top. Guy anyways. I do all the social media for us. So. I'm, I'm Okay, we're headed to Round Pond Winery oh, look, look, on Saturday look. morning. Shake it. Shake it. I'll take a picture. Okay, I'm getting my video. I've got it up right now. Sheep grazing through the box. <laughs> God's Roadside Stand in St. Helena. Um, they've got Dungeness Crab Sandwich. <laughs> That's okay. okay. We are now at Opus One in the tasting room. <laughs>
to the last tasting today, Far Niente Winery. I love this area. Oh, you can smell wine in here. We're going into the cave where the barrels are stored now. And this is a barrel tasting. Yeah, so this are 2021, and we'll do six more, six to eight more. This one's six more, um, and then it will be pulled out and then bottled and probably released sometime next year. So, just Are you that already tasted? Very oaky, though. It reminds me of that. See, I'm not getting a lot of pepper. That was spices. I'm not getting that. Ooh, I am. Are you? Mmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, this is the first year that we're doing this. So, this is all of our Chardonnay, and then this is our Jenny Chardonnay, and we got, like, the plexiglass ends just to show people what's kind of going on in the barrels. So this is it like kind of untouched. This is the leaves at the bottom. And then this, they stirred it around so all of that was kicked up and that's why it's- Oh, like, that's cloudy. very cold down here. Yeah. Yeah. We just came through just there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. 
arrived at Nickel and Nickel Winery. Hi, Diane. Hello, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is nice. We're at the front porch of Nickel and Nickel. That'll be my last one. Yeah, because I'm not getting these hands either. I'm just going to be there. Maybe. I am. I just got my shoes. I know, and I got some when I was here before. Okay, our final stop is at ZV Wineries, which we have been a couple times to end our trip. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So yeah, so something's just a little gift from us to you guys, members. So, uh, and we're gonna have them in separate barrels for about a year. At that year mark, we're taking it. Now, which one is this? This is the 03. This is the reserve. And at that same time, they're gearing up to do our first reserve Cabernet, which was in 1992. And like I said, we do a bunch of blind tastings here at ZD. And we were doing a price comparison blind where we kind of sneak our wine into a, some other wineries' wines and just kind of see where our stacks up. We just want to know, yeah, you know, where to price it fairly. We're at the restaurant Bouchon, which is a part of a restaurant related to the French Laundry chef for dinner. And another great trip to Napa comes to an end.